Hello, good evening everyone and Happy New Year. Welcome to a prosperous and happy and splendid 2017. All right, my name is Toin Balogu and I'm back here this year. And yes, I'm happy to have you guys back here with me. And uh, yeah, that's it. Today we're going to be talking about New Year's resolution. New Year resolution. I'd like to know what your New Year resolution is or what your New Year resolutions are. Hi, Prince Shagun Faith Oyewale. Happy New Year to you too. All right, so it's going to be, I'm going to like kiss, like keep it short and simple because I'm going out later today. So, you know, I just wanted to see you guys and wish you all a happy new year and uh, know what your new year resolutions are. So I'm happy to have you on board. Welcome to 2017. Yay! All right, I have Camry's Fashios. Happy new year to you as well. I have Prince Shagun Faith Oyewale watching. Happy New Year to everyone and thanks for the likes and emoticons. Okay, so before we start, I would like to define what New Year resolution is or what New Year resolutions are. I hope you can hear me clearly and see me clearly as well. Can you guys see me? Can you hear me as well? Okay, cool. All right, so... Yeah, so New Year resolution, okay, says a New Year's resolution is a tradition in which a person resolves to change an undesired trait or behavior. If you desire to change something you don't like, you know, a habit you've been doing for a while, and you want to change it or improve on it, or you want to stop it completely, the New Year is a good time to actually start or i mean to start that or make that change so basically it's um, a new dawn a new day a new life you know so my own new year resolution is um what is my new year resolution okay my new year resolution is to to try and sleep early because i always sleep very late Try and sleep very early and wake up early. And um, yeah, that's it. Try to go to bed very, very early, like latest 11 p.m. instead of the usual 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. that I usually go to bed, you know. So that's one of my New Year resolutions. Generally speaking, most people have um, this goals as their new year resolution people actually want to improve their physical well-being eat healthy lose weight exercise more some like to improve mental well-being think positive laugh more often enjoy life yes some actually want to improve finances get out of debt save money make small investments some want to improve their career as well they want to perform better at current job or get a better job or establish their own business. Some want to improve their education. They go for trainings. They, I mean, they make resolutions to go for trainings and seminars and all that. Just, you know, to invest in themselves and make better use of their time. Some actually want to improve their self, become more organized, reduce stress, be less grumpy and manage their time. Some like to take a trip, you know, some like to travel. Some also make resolutions to read books. Some can say, okay, every month from the beginning of January, 1st of January, I'm going to be reading at least two books every month till the end of the year. That's also one of the resolutions people make generally. Some also volunteer to help others. They practice life skills, use civic virtue, give to charity and all that. Then some promise and pledge to get along better with people, improve their social skills, enhance social intelligence, and so on. Some also plan to make new friends. Some plan to spend quality time with family members. Some plan to settle down, get engaged, married, or have kids. Some make resolutions to pray more, be closer to God, be more spiritual. Some actually 
make resolutions also to be more involved in sports or different activities, while others plan to spend less time on social media, such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Those are the most common New Year resolutions we have. So if you're watching, you can tell me what your own New, new Year resolution is, or if you have more than one, feel free to share what your New Year resolutions are. Let us know. Okay, I'm seeing people watching. Thanks for coming on board. Please leave your comments. Let's, you know, interact. Let me know what your New Year resolutions are. Yeah. Shekel Faith says, I am blessed. Amen. You too. Thank you for, for that. Yeah. So let me know what your New Year resolution is. Okay, while you're still watching, and please give me like two minutes. Let me just share this on my page so other people can join us in this conversation. And they'll know that we are online. So guys, how was your Christmas? How was your New Year? Hope, hope you all had fun. Mine was beautiful. I had my nephew and niece in from France. And I also had my sister coming from um, Canada. So we had a full house. It was a full, it is still a full house anyway. So it's, it was a very, very beautiful Christmas for me and my family. And it was a more... Even more fantastic new year for us. It was really nice. I have all the pictures and videos on my Facebook page. On my Facebook fan page, www.facebook.com slash Toynbe, T-O-Y-E-N-B. So you can check it out if you want. So guys, you're just liking and liking and sending love emoticons. Tell me how your new year was. Tell me what your new year resolution is. Tell me how your Christmas was. How did you spend it? Where did you go to? Okay, while you guys are still liking and loving the video, let me just share this video and um, let me just share this video and alert other people, you know, so. All right, Shade, if you're watching, can you just say hi? Can you hear me as well if you're watching this video? Shadi, are you watching? Are you watching? Yeah, I okay. am. Okay. No, seriously, are you are you I am not seeing you, I'm not seeing your name here. Okay, I'm only seeing a few people. Okay, let me just share my timeline. Yeah, so guys, the network is not so accurate. Prince Struggle Faith Oyewale says yes. Okay, you can hear me, right? Can you tell me how, how your Christmas was? And what your New Year resolution is? Okay, I just got a message. Somebody wants to know where I spent my New Year. All right. My New Year, we actually went to, um, we went for a yacht cruise, a yacht ride. Uh, we went from the Jumeirah uh, Beach residence. We um, sailed all around the Burj Al Arab and all that, you know. We started in the afternoon and we're out till we're at sea till about um, 9 p.m. It was nice. It was really beautiful. And Christmas, we had brunch. We had, um, we had everything. It was really nice. So what is your New Year resolution? What do you intend to continue doing? Or what, you, what do you intend to improve on? Or stop doing? Or stop doing? Oh, Shade B. Hi, Shade. I see you. Okay, so. Anyway, what I'd like to advise people to know or to do this year is to let 
all the negative vibes, all the negative people, all the negative things go with 2016. This is a brand new year. It's a brand new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new beginning. It's a new chapter. It's a new book. You know, so it's an opportunity to start or write your life afresh. So whatever gives you negative vibes, whatever does not improve you, or whoever does not improve you, whoever does not contribute positively to your existence, make sure that thing or that person goes or has gone with 2016. This year, positive vibes only. From friends, from well-wishers, even on social media, family members, positive vibes only. Because when you carry all these negative things and negative people along with you, they will just do nothing but drag you back. They will do nothing but drag you back. You don't need them, all right? You don't need them at all. If you want to improve this year, if you want to make a success of yourself, of your being, of your life, this 2007, do away with negative things, negative people, negative thoughts, negative attitude, they will get you nowhere. Trust me, I know what I'm saying. They will absolutely do you nothing. So get rid of those things and those people. All right, Tony Anthony. Hey, keep it up, Lady B. Thank you. Happy New Year, Tony Anthony. Do you want to share your New Year resolution? Do you want us to know what you resolute to do this year or what you don't want to do again? I'm sure those that were smoking will plan not to continue smoking this year. You know. Okay, one of my own New Year resolutions is also, I don't smoke, you know, so that one is out of it. What do I intend to do? Um, okay, yeah. I intend to actually drink more water, less of um, soda and juices and all that. I want to, like, take more water, you know, then, um, yeah, I love the rate at which I work, so that will stay. But I plan to sleep early and, um, yeah, sleep early, go to bed early. Yeah, maybe still wake up early. But, and of course, make more money. And yeah, but so far so good. It's been a good year. We thank God for his mercies. We also thank God for the past year, 2016. It wasn't so easy, but yeah, as we will say here, mashallah, we're alive now, we're kicking. We made it to 2017. And it's going to be a very beautiful year by the grace of God. So those are my New Year resolutions I've shared with you. Yes, so Prince Dragon Faith, this is our year of celebration, sign of peace. Yes, so this is our year, definitely. All right, so we're going to like um, talk about, um, we're going to talk about um, negative, oh, these people, put a smile on people's faces and give more to the less privileged. That's a good one, Tony. That's a very good one, yes. Yeah, more charitable organizations and do more charitable work. Beautiful. I hope you guys are hearing me well. Okay. Yeah, so like I said earlier, for those that are just joining us, let me just take the definition of New Year Resolution again. Let me tell you what New Year Resolution is. And, um, you know, so we can all be on the same page. Uh, a New Year's resolution is a tradition in which a person resolves to change an undesired trait or behavior. At the beginning of every year, most people, um, they make a list. They make a list of uh, the things they intend to do or the things they don't want to do anymore, the things they don't want to carry into the year or the things they plan to improve on, you know, so... Basically, that's a New Year resolution. But most times, people start off very well. They're like, oh, you know, beginning of the year, that beginning of the month in January, people get serious, like the first week of that January. Like those that intend to go to the gym or start exercising, bam, like the third or fourth of uh, January, they're like very serious. But by the time they get to like February, March, April, you know, the resolution thing, it starts declining for whatever reason, I don't know. So that's it. But some actually stick to it. They start very well. They start off very well from the beginning of January of the year. And they end it very well. They keep to their resolution. They stick to it, you know, which is very good. 
Many people break it. Many don't even do at all. They start it off the first day. I'm not going to smoke again. After the 2nd of January, I'm going to stop smoking. Blah, 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 blah. They try, they try, they try. Second week in January, you see them lighting the cigarettes again. I'm like, oh, whatever, you know. C'est la vie. You know, it, it's not uh, so easy keeping resolutions anyway. Uh, it's, um, it's a, it has to be a gradual thing, you know, and you have to just keep trying. You have to be consistent. You just have to keep trying it and trying it and hopefully, you know. So care to share what your resolution is? Okay, Tony says, okay, you can hear me loud and clear. Safiya Ibrahim, hi mama, mama, um, hi Safiya, <laughs> nice having you on board. Tony and Tony says, I rather say my new year plans, resolutions are overrated. Oh yeah, that's true. Sometimes resolutions are overrated and yeah, new year plans and goals are more like it, yes. Mama Karim, thank you Safiya, my darling Karim, kisses to Karim and everyone. Yeah, so as I was saying, Tony Anthony, you said you'd rather say your New Year plans instead of resolutions because resolutions are overrated. Very true. Because, um, yeah, people expect so much when they use the word resolutions. But when you say plans, plans are more like goals or objectives. You know, you strive towards achieving. Yeah, and yeah, I think that's more, it's a better word. Res um, plan, New Year plan. There are three better words than resolution, yeah. So that's it. I can see more people on board. Thanks for coming on board. Happy New Year, everyone. Hope you had a fantastic New Year. Hope you had a beautiful Christmas like I did. It was beautiful. I could relive that moment over and over and over again. It was fantastic for me. Anyway, so like I said, this is the fifth episode of Toyumbi's World. And tonight we're talking about New Year's resolutions. We've defined resolution, New Year resolution, and um, we have discussed what um, most people plan to do, you know, at the beginning of every year. The most common New Year resolutions we've talked about. In case you're just joining us, let me just take those um, common resolutions again. You know, most common New Year resolutions are... Uh, well, improve physical well-being, eat healthy, blah, blah, blah. Improve mental well-being, improve finances, get out of debt and all that. Improve career, improve education, improve self, um, take a trip, travel more, volunteer to help others like Anthony. Tony plans to improve, all, uh, to, uh, he is volunteering all this charitable thing, you know, volunteering to work part-time in charitable organizations. Yeah, some also make resolutions to get along better with people, make new friends, spend quality time with family members, settle down, get engaged, get married, have kids. Some make new year resolutions to pray more, go to church more, be closer to God, be more spiritual. Some plan to get more involved in sports or different activities and some plan to spend less time on social media well whatever your new year resolution is just make sure that you do not have um, bad friends or sometimes you don't even know who the bad friends are but once you sense any negative vibe around anyone if you feel people are not contributing to your well-being, they're not like improving you in any way, things are not adding value to your life, things and people that are not adding value to your life, the best advice is for you to drop them. If you haven't dropped them in year 2016, it's not too late. Let go of such people now. You don't need them. You don't need those things. You don't need those people, you know. So this is a year of motion. This is the year 2017 is a year of prosperity. It's a year of um, jubilation. It's a year of uh, forward movement. It's a year of um, good tidings. So if you're thinking of good tidings and forward movement and not backward movement, forward movement, you're planning on increase, you're planning on expansion, you're planning on growth and growth in every area of your life business-wise, family-wise, 
Joan also. Oh, my friend from Canada. Hi, Joan. How are you, my black beauty? Okay. Hi, everyone. All right. So, if you're planning on um, dropping, I mean, if you're planning on growing in life, if you're planning on growing as a family, in your business, educationally, uh, whatever ramification you plan on growing, you don't know, you do not need negative people, negative vibes. You drop such things as if you have not dropped them last year. Make sure you do that now as I'm talking to you. Anybody that is just beefing you or dissing you on social media in real life, you know, just talking jazz and they're not meaningful. Just let go. You don't need such people in your life, honestly. So that is one advice I'm gonna give you guys. And I pray you take it and use it. Because that is what I'm using. That's what I'm doing myself too. And so far it's been working. So, what else? Okay, let me say hi to people on board. Okay, Safia, hi. Tony, hi. John Ousu, hello. Prince Shagun Faith, hi. Shade Balogo, hi darling. Hi everyone watching and everyone liking and leaving comments. So, Exactly. John says, do you and be happy. Life's too short to be miserable. Bam. That's what you call bamest. So on point. Don't care what people say. Do not care what people think about you. Do what you have to do. Of course, try and be good. Try to do good. But do not like think about what others will think about you or what you're doing. Just try to be you. Be happy. Life is short. Life is good if you live it well. Life is beautiful. If you hang around beautiful people, beautiful family, you love life. You live life to the fullest. So do you be happy and yeah, drop anything negative. So what else are we going to talk about? You know, like I said today, we're kissing. I'm keeping it short and simple. K-I-S-S. -S, because I'm out of here in a few minutes. But I just wanted to see all my fans and friends, everyone online, and most especially to wish everybody a Happy New Year, because this is the first time I'm coming on board this uh, 2017. So, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the chat so far. I hope so far so good. This is our fifth episode, and Toy Biz World is here to stay. If you want to, like, check out more videos, exclusives, videos, news, photographs, uh, things happening, things, personal things, fashion, lifestyle, every, global news, breaking news. You just need to log on to my blog, www.toyinbalogo.com. Toyinbalogo is T O Y W E N B A L O G U N.com. I'm also on Twitter at Toyinbi, T O Y W E N B. Instagram at Toyinbi's World, T O Y E E N B S W O R L D. And um, um, LinkedIn, Google Plus, and um, LinkedIn, Google Plus, and YouTube, it's Oluwato in Balogo. So you catch all my videos and everything you need to know on those channels. All right, so I got, I actually read on someone's post on Facebook, and um, I thought it was just a good post, and I wanted to share this with you. Um, yeah. Okay. Exactly. I love it. I saw the post and I was like, I need to share this as well. I hope you're hearing me. Yes. Okay. So the person goes, um, before now, I used to believe that it is pride that makes you change your friends. Because God has changed your level. But now, I realize that sometimes it could be that the old friends have become too envious to feel comfortable with you. While sometimes it's because of pride, truly. Please feel free if you need to dump some friends behind. Because if they're not happy at your fast pace, they will devise ways of slowing you down. 2017 is the year for me friends and family who are progress lovers. Some friends and family loved you when your life was empty, but immediately God filled your life with his fullness, they become disconnected 
or they become your enemies in disguise. You cannot take all your friends to that next phase of your life. I need to repeat that for those that didn't hear me. You cannot take all your friends to that next phase of your life. Pray to God to know the few you have chosen. Pray to God to know the few you should choose. I wish you a happy, yoke-breaking, limitless possibilities and a graceful 2017. That is one of the best posts I have seen this year and I decided to share with you. So that's it basically. Yeah? Aramite Aramire, Happy New Year to you. More blessings, peace, joy, and happiness. Amen. And Happy New Year to you, to Aramide. Thanks for joining us on this um, fifth episode of uh, Toyinbi's World. And our topic for today is um, New Year resolutions. Yeah. So, Aramide, you want to share what your New Year resolution is? What do you intend to do? Or what do you intend to stop doing? What is your New Year resolution? Okay. All right, Shadi, are you still watching? Okay, so, yeah. So that's it, basically. Um, guys, that is what I intended to share with you this beginning of the year. And um, I hope I have been able to convince you that um, you do not need negative vibes whatsoever in your life. Oh, I need to read this post again. It's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. I love the post. Before now, I used to believe that it is pride that makes you change your friends because God has changed your level. But now I realize that sometimes it could be that the old friends have become too envious to feel comfortable with you. While sometimes it's because of pride, truly. Please feel free if you need to dump some behind if you need to dump some friends behind, because if they are not happy at your fast pace, they will devise ways of slowing you down. 2017 is a year for me and mine, friends, family, me and mine. Let me just put it that way, me and mine. We are progress lovers. Some friends and family loved you when your life was empty, but immediately God filled your life with a fullness. They became disconnected to your enemies. They became disconnected. Or they became your enemies in disguise. You cannot take all your friends to the next phase in your life. You cannot. It's not possible. Some are like extra baggage, you know, luggage you don't need. You need to drop them behind. If you have not dropped them in 2016, it's not too late to drop them now. Drop those things and those people now. This is just the third day of January 2017. We still have like 360 something days to go, yeah? So if you don't need those friends, those things, if you sense any negative vibes around that person, beef, all this, you know, envy and jealousy, you don't need such things. Even on social media, once you see, the, every time the person leave, uh, makes a post, it's about beef. Oh, this person beef, this fight, 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 all those things. You know, things that will not add value to your life. People that will not contribute to your growth in life in any way. It doesn't have to be financial. It, doesn't, it, has, it can be social. If they cannot contribute socially to your growth, business-wise, mentally, physically, in any way, in any ramification, drop them. Drop them. Drop them now. Otherwise, they'll debar you. They will actually debar you. They'll slow down your growth, your progress. They'll take you back. You don't need that. It's a new year. It's a new dawn. It's a new beginning. Anyway, guys, I love the, I love the time I've spent with you guys. It's been wonderful chatting with you. Unwa Chinemerechi says, I am right. Yes. Aramide goes, I am welcome. Her resolution is to revive her faith in God more. That is excellent. Yeah. Revive your faith in God more. Yeah. God is the ultimate. In everything we do, we have to put him first. Otherwise, there will be no progress in anything. You know, so for me, I believe so much in God. And before I do anything, you know, I commit that thing. You know, first to God Almighty, and it, it just takes control of everything, and everything works out well at the end of the day, and it ends in praise most times. So, yeah, God first. So, I'm with you on that one, Aramide. You said you're going to revive your faith in God more. Cool. 
Okay, so like I said, my own New Year resolution is to go to bed early, earlier than normal, earlier than I've been doing, and um, go to bed early, drink more water, drink more water, less juice, less soda, and um, live a beautiful life. And um, I'm always very grateful, so I'll continue to be grateful to God and to everything, every little thing. I am so appreciative. I don't wait for the mega things to come. I don't wait for the things I have been longing for to happen first before I live life or enjoy life or thank God. Every minute I find myself alive, every step of the way, I just thank God for everything, you know, and I live life as, you know, as it comes. And yeah, thank God for everything. So, okay, Sophia says, forgive everyone, strive to do better than last year in character, Financial decisions and weight. Excellent, yes. Forgiveness is key. If you don't have a forgiving heart and um, you plan on moving forward, you cannot. Especially if you're spiritual, if you're religious. You have to have a clean and contrite heart. Forgive everyone that has wronged you. It doesn't mean you have to forget what, the, what they've done, you know. To err is human. To forgive is divine. So you don't have to forgive, I mean, you don't have to forget what they did to you, you know, what they did that really hurt you, but you have to forgive them in, able to, in order to be able to move on. Forgiveness is key. So yeah, I'm with you on that one, Sophia. Strive to do better than last year, definitely. Forward ever, backward never. In character, financial decisions, and weight. Oh, wait, you want to lose weight? Everybody wants to lose weight. After all, I ate in, uh, oh, one on Christmas Day and even New Year Day. Oh, God. I know it's official. Official. Certified. I am fat. Yes. It's not my resolution anyway. I don't plan to lose weight. I just want to keep a lifestyle, a healthy, beautiful lifestyle. So in as much as I eat what I feel like eating, well, I indulge. I don't eat everything. But I indulge. I like chocolate, so I still indulge. But most times I go for walks. Instead of taking, um, what do you call it, taxis or metros or cabs, most times, or be driven or drive, you know, most times places I can walk. Uh, now the weather is beautiful, so most times I walk. So I try to, like, make walking part of my lifestyle, you know. So it's something I've actually um, inculcated into my system. So, yeah, so I try to... I'm trying to like keep a more keep a healthier lifestyle, but not basically to lose weight. Just to be healthy and yeah. Because the moment you try to lose weight and just for me, I don't I'm fine, you know. So but yeah, that's a good one, Sophia. Anyway, I'd like to thank everyone for coming on board. Let me see what the time is first and see. Okay, the day is still pretty young, it's just nine. Okay, yay, my friend I'm hooking up with. Goes, hey dear, I'm just coming back from the resort. I'm leaving tonight. Oh, I'm leaving tonight by 1.30. I don't think we can see, but you can pick up the Kilishi from Emma. Oh, I thought we were hooking up. Damn. Anyway, so I have at least another 10 minutes to spend with you guys. My girlfriend I was supposed to hook up with thought she was leaving tomorrow night, but she just sent me a message. She's leaving this morning, so we can't hook up. Anyway, she's dropping my Kilishi. Thank God. <laughs> She came in from Abuja with her family to Dubai, and um, she's leaving this morning. Her family leaves tomorrow night, so. Anyway, so guys, who else is watching? Watching Nemerachi. Anyway, I'd like to wish everybody a very happy new year. Welcome to the year 2017. I pray this year starts, goes, and ends well for each and every one of us. And my prayer is... Um, Inshallah, we would uh, not have any sad news, both in our own homes and globally. Enough of the ISIS and bomb blasts and plane crashes. All those have gone with the um, year 2016. So I pray for a more peaceful um, nation, a more peaceful um, world. I want peace to reign in the world, in our hearts. Everybody to live in peace and harmony. So I pray God answers every one of us and um, protects us and um, guides us and blesses us. I pray God just answers all our prayers. This year is going to be a beautiful year. I can feel it already. You know. So like I said, 
positive vibes only. On social media, in real life, in families, at work, every day of your life, with everybody you're with, positive vibes only. Anyway, I say a big amen to that prayer. I wish everybody a very beautiful 2017. And like I said, Queen Bee's World is here to stay. More video, live video chats will be coming up on this channel, this platform. And um, the fun and entertaining ones will be on my personal Facebook page, but the chat, chatty ones will be on this forum. And we'll be go we're going to be talking more about um, more entertaining things, things that would um, um, impact knowledge and, you know, things that will just make you, um, things that will gladden your heart, that will enlighten you, that will entertain you, that will educate you. So it will not just be a waste of time chatting with me here on Facebook. You're going to enjoy every second I come online. So that's just a promise. So this is my fifth episode, and I'm pretty sure you guys have enjoyed every minute of every episode. And um, I'll be back again next week, God willing. Um, topic of discussion, I don't know yet, but something good, something good, something good will crop up, definitely. If you want to like leave any comment or whatever you want to see or wanna, whatever you want to hear me discuss, you can leave it right there in the comment box below. And if you want to uh, know what's happening globally, like I said earlier, my blog, Toyinbi's World, is where you need to be. So visit Toyinbi's World, www.toyinbalogun.com for everything you need to know about entertainment, fashion, lifestyle news global news um breaking news and um yeah everything so okay thank you so much guys for watching i love you all thank you all to my fans friends family members everyone on board i appreciate everyone we're gonna grow with time we're gonna get there we're gonna definitely grow so Keep liking and sharing the post, inviting your friends to co to watch the program as well. Feel free to contribute. Feel free to share the videos and, you know, tell people about um, Toyinbi's World Live Video Chat. So we'll see you again next week. It's um, ciao and happy new year. And love and kisses from me. This is Oluwa Toy Noimat Balogun signing out with kisses, love and hugs. Cheers, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.